Hi, I'm Tudor Davies, Director of Technology at Spectrum Signal Processing. Today I'd like to show you our RF4902 board, which is a new addition to Spectrum's SDR4000 family of products. The RF4902 is a modular board. It consists of three different modules, the digital board on the bottom, the uh, RF board on the top left, and the analog to digital and digital to analog board on the top right. The digital module has a Vertex 5 FPGA from Xilinx. This particular one is the SX50T and there are larger sizes available on this board. It communicates uh, with the Pro 4600 host board or the Xilinx Aurora interface which is a high-speed serial interface that runs over the backplane. It also uses SPI interface for control so you have a separation of the control plane and the data plane. So that's the digital board. That serves as the carrier for the uh, analog to digital and digital to analog and the RF sections. The next board in the signal path is the analog to digital, digital to analog board. It has high speed ADCs and DACs on it. The ADC operates at up to 500 mega samples per second. We're currently running it at 490 mega samples per second at 14 bits. The DAC operates at 980 mega samples per second at 16 bits. This board mounts on the RF4902, basically face down with the digital connector mating to the carrier board. Next, the RF up and down conversion board. It has RF interfaces on the front and the IF interfaces on the back which go to the ADCs and DACs. It's got the shield on it right now so you can't see what's inside it, but it operates from 200 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz tuning range. It's got a fast hopping tuner inside as well. The up converter and down converter operate independently so you can operate them at different frequencies. You can switch frequencies at a rate of 20 microseconds. You can also see that all these boards have thermal interfaces along the edges. Those allow you to use it for conduction cooling. You can also put an air cooling heat sink on it. They fit together in one 3U compact PCI slot. And so with the appropriate heat sink you can have it in air cooled format like this or in conduction cooled format. 